can't afford to look Halo, Halo, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered his woman? Ale no, witam was w kolejnym odcinku Wilka pośród nas. Wielki sobie Big B. Oszczędziliśmy tego Dima albo Dama, nie pamiętam. A dostaliśmy za to srebrnym e, buletem. I rękę nam sama no. Ała. Such a pain. Long live the Queen. business the silver slug deformed and shredded on impact he'll be okay though hmm? he'll be okay his internal organs are positively riddled if I don't extract every single scrap of silver he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis <sighs> easy there Try not to move <clears throat> We can't oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, yeah. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? No, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, oh, baby, don't move go. it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. No, no, stop, man. Oh, yeah, I'll get it. Ah! 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 A, no nastaw to. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Oh, wow. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. We'll be done in a moment, just please. Give no, us the time. Nic, nie sądzę kliknąć overall, no dobra. Hey Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Cause I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed <laughs> to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? 
Your hooves? Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. I uh, to there. Zapamięta, All done. <laughs> Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. No. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Whiny. I'm Colin, spoko. To jest rzadko jest, nie? To jest chyba drugi raz, jak go widzimy. So, how do you um feel? It's oh. Bigby Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. <laughs> I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Huh? I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Aww. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <sighs> Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the crooked man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It's not about yeah, Crane anymore, wrote, Bigby. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No, try no tak strać, thanks. You're not know. pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Pravda. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other sense. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. No, but then prawda. what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? Na zbieranie informacji głównie, nie? 
I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. I mają ten, e, tą klątwę. To nie mogą powiedzieć żadnego, żadnych takich, wiecie, wrażliwych rzeczy. A tych rzeczy, które się dowiadują pewnie od klientów. O, Garbus ściąga klątwę i one przekazują te info dalej. Co to znaczy? Co to znaczy? Nie wiem. But it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. Look, Bigby. I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? No, no, zostawiamy chyba Colina. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That uh -huh. rod from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows <laughs> something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. No, we do mo. Friendship na ta siła przyjaźni te sprawy wiecie o co chodzi. Tykniemy się końcówkami i dzięki temu pokonamy każdego wroga. Tak było. Nerissa. Ach, to intro. To, że go skipnąć nie można. Wilk pośród nas. 
Kurde, widzę, zbliżamy się coraz, bliż, coraz bliżej końca, nie? Skończy się wilk. Zostanie mi... Skończy się budowanie miasta. Bo zbliżamy się do końca. Tamtego też, a wychodzi kolejna część za długo. Zostanie Skyrim. Ciekawe się zapowiada. Bardzo ciekawe. Have a seat. Może coś powiedzieć? Um, o. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. No, you know that. That. No, that. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, no, I don't no want to waste your time, ah. but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. No. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. <laughs> I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm 
not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Maruja. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. No illusion. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. Mm -hmm. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. No. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? No, szczególnie my jako Big Ben nie, za, nie za dużo możemy zrobić. Taka prawda niestety. Dobra, idziemy do pięknej bestyi. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. Oh. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? Nie wiem, bestia ma problemy z Bigby. Hi Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. To za ludzie. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Ale jak ja ładna też, nie? Takie malutkie kompaktowe. We don't need to bring him into this beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and mm. call him again? Talk about living in the past. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep <laughs> <talking> <laughs> about <laughs> that? Do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. 
That's why I called. Will? Just to sweetheart. Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. I don't give a fuck. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. No, boss, no. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. No, I tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Nie, nie powinna ta lewna odebrać. Znaczy Hi lewna. Piękna. O. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> Are you gonna and get that? And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... What the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? Fine. I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. Please, Bigby. Wait. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait. Who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, uh -huh. that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. No, 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 if I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise. That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. 
Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You're telling me that with a place like this, you're so hard up that you need to work for the Crooked Man? The guy you're so afraid of? Bullshit. It's not like he runs the counter and hands me the boxes. I never met the guy. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. So you do their dirty work. And look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for Beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Antak. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm pretty sure that the guy is not going to come. Because if we get to the spaghetti, we'll be able to find out where. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What, what do you mean? mean? Well. Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just we know that the crooked man is dangerous to uh. all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Dobra, widzowie, ale na tym sobie zakończymy dzisiejszy odcinek. Dziękuję wam bardzo serdecznie za oglądanie i widzimy się w następnym odcinku. Do zobaczenia.